What is up my guys, Skody here and welcome back to the vid. Or should I say, my little monster. <laughs> it's so cringy I couldn't even finish the sentence. Anyway, today is Stargazer's birthday. And do you know what that means boys? It means mommy review, let's go! Man, look at that beauty. I think out of all of the mommies that I've featured so far, I think she holds the crown. She's the mommiest of the mommies so far. Too bad I don't have her yet, so shout out to my guildmate for letting me borrow her. Stargazer. Alice, what the hell is that signature? Good spread of skills. Seven all around except for the basic attack. That's good. That's good enough. And for her crime brands, I think this is a good combination. In fact, this is the best combination right now. I wouldn't change a single thing. Servant for energy recharge. Sin City. And then creation for more bolts damage. However though, it seems like she did not unlock the ECB yet. It's one of those ECB that are a one-time thing. So I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference anyway. So let's test her out in Tide. I'm thinking of putting her in your typical magic team. Like Irene, Hikari, Luvia. The problem is my magic team is really, really bad. Like I literally only have Irene built up on my magic team. I'm putting Chelsea because I don't really have any Furies as well. I have Nox, but she needs to go to my second team. I just realized that I don't have a healer as well. I usually borrow Hamel for my third team, but I'm borrowing Stargazer right now. I don't know, full team. I cannot replace Hekari because she's the only core breaker. So Stargazer is gonna act as the DPS instead of Luvia. At least that's the plan. Okay, I did not do any mock battles. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Also, I just realized that I have not read up on Stargazer's skills. I think I'm quite familiar with her kit anyways. She's pretty straightforward anyways, right? You just slap them with your sweaty balls. I forgot how hot her voice is. Okay, Stargazer's summon is almost up, but instead of summoning another ball, I'm thinking using it on top of the other ball. Because if I summon it right now, once the boss wakes up, he's gonna do another AoE and that ball will just die anyway. And yeah, you can use your ult on an already placed balls to strengthen it or something. I'm not sure what the details are, but it does something. Okay, now it's safe to summon. Look how pretty the boss is. Chelsea yassifying an already stunned enemy. I'm just gonna save Chelsea's stun when I need it. It seems like the summons are not affected by Fox's ult. That's why all of them are stunned right now. Oh shit, I used it too soon. Yeah, we're dead. Oh my god, that Petrify was clutch. The boss was supposed to do a combo, but Pe Chelsea was able to fix my mistake. Oh my god. Loki, it's becoming Chelsea review again. The boss is about to do another AoE later though. And I don't know what to do then. Wait. That was the wrong order. I don't know how to explain this if you don't know the boss mechanics. But the boss basically messed up his skill order. 
I think the AI is drunk right now. I mean, I ain't complaining. Should be easy from here on out. By the way, not sure if you guys know, but you can actually step on your own Irene mine. <laughs> Stargazer AC, boys. I'm not sure why I'm doing AC. She literally has a level 1 basic attack. I wonder what the score would be. This is stage 32 now, so don't expect much because the boss has insanely high magic defense here. When I use Luvia, typically I get like 1.4, but I'm using Hamel as a support there. One point seven. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Again, this is the third team, which is the leftover team, so I'm not complaining with the one point seven. She almost did the same damage as Irene, so that's cool. Not gonna lie, I'm not that impressed, but maybe if her ECB is unlocked, things would have gone better. So that is it for the Patinovers version of Jasmine. I remember that she's one of the very first um, sinners that I made a video about on. Back when I sounded like I'm defroating my mic. Before you pull for Stargazer, know that she is currently considered as the weakest S class sinner by the community and CN right now. Thanks for watching. It's a very cringy video and probably outdated as well, too, so I recommend not to watch it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, this has been Cody. Thanks for watching and peace out.